Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover Langchain. This is a relatively new framework that allows us to build AI powered applications in Python. We'll explore Langchain's core features, benefits, and a simple example of LLM integration in Python. Langchain simplifies AI app development. It allows us to integrate large language models in our application. We can include long-term memory capabilities in our apps using Langchain so the app is context aware. This helps improve user interactions and become more intelligent by considering the history of previous conversations. Simply put, it's a valuable tool for developing AI-powered apps. Language models excel at responding to prompts in a general context, but struggle in a specific domain. Langchain helps bridge this gap by allowing us to combine our data with LLM. This way, LLM can provide domain-specific answers based on our data. Langchain allows organizations to use large language models for specific tasks without needing to retrain them. Developers can build applications that use company data so that LLM provides relevant responses. Langchain makes AI development easier. It provides components that can convert users' query to a format suitable for the language model. It handles the language model's responses and provides us with a clean, structured response. We can utilize Langchain components to convert a user's question into a format that the language model understands, handle data pre-processing, and response generation. Developers can quickly build advanced applications by customizing ready-made templates and tools instead of writing complex code. This saves time and effort. Let us install Langchain libraries in our environment. We will need Langchain Core, Langchain Alama, and Langchain Community libraries. For this demo, I will use Jupyter Notebook, but you can use any Python integrated development environment. The interactive environment is a better way to understand these examples as we can execute them in a sequential order. We will use Langchain with a local language model. Therefore, Alama is a prerequisite for this. You can follow the steps in this video to install Alama and pull a language model in your environment. In the first example, we learn how to integrate the LLM via Langchain. We invoke the LLM to generate text responses using the LAMA3 model. Langchain supports many different language models that you can use interchangeably. We import the required libraries and interact with the model directly. Chat models are instances of Langchain runnables. Runnables expose a standard interface for interacting with LLM. To simply call the model, we can pass in a list of messages to the invoke method. With the invoke call, a single input is transformed into an output. This is the simplest way of using the LLM. This is a basic use case. The LLM takes a question from the user and provides the response back from the model. Prompt templates help to translate user input and parameters into instructions for a language model. This is used to guide a model's response, helping it understand the context and generate relevant and coherent language-based output. Prompt templates take as input a dictionary, where each key represents a variable in the prompt template to fill in. Prompt templates output a prompt value. This prompt value can be passed to an LLM or a chat model and can also be cast to a string or a list of messages. Langchain chains refer to sequence of calls, whether to an LLM, a tool, or a data pre-processing step. The primary supported way to do this is with Langchain expression language. We can chain two or more runnables together into sequences. In this example, we create a chain by connecting three components in sequence using the pipe operator, which acts like a pipeline. Prompt is the first part. This is the prompt template that structures the input, turning the user query into a format that is understandable by the LLM. Also, we can provide more information in the prompt template, as well as some context to the model. 
model is the LLM that takes the structured prompt and generates a response. Output parser ensures the model's output is returned as a clean string, rather than a more complex object. It builds a chain that formats the prompt, sends it to the model, parses the output into a string. Once we invoke the chain, an artificial intelligence or AI agent is a program that interacts with its environment, gathers data, and uses it to carry out tasks to achieve predefined goals. As users we set the goal, the AI agent independently determines the best course of actions to reach this goal. The actions are performed via the tools we provide to the agent. Let's see an example of the AI agent. This is a fully functional agent that uses an LLM to decide which tools to use when we pose a question. It has access to a tool that can retrieve stock price. As a user, we set the goal to get the stock price for a given company. It retrieves the stock price and provides us with an answer. Vector Store and Document Loader are helpful when you want to search over your documents. We load data with the help of Document Loader. We split the document into small chunks. We convert the text into a numerical representation using an embedding model. A vector store takes care of storing embedded data and performing vector search for us. We have a full video on this topic if you want to develop a complete RAG app using your own document. Also, we covered the Langchain chain to build a text to SQL app. I will leave the links in the description below. This is an overview of the Langchain framework. It's a valuable tool for developing AI-powered apps. It simplifies the process and provides us with building blocks to speed up the development process. We will build more apps using this framework in the future. Share your experience with this framework in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.